New Siege DI MB update unlocks Mercedes FBS 4 ISM slash DSM slash ESM virgin function. Game changer for technicians. Hey everyone, this is Hussein, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to Bobji Motors, your go to destination for everything related to automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and advanced vehicle tools. Before we jump in, here's a quick but important disclaimer. This video is created purely for educational and informational purposes. Every demonstration, image, and explanation you see here is designed to help technicians, learners, and automotive enthusiasts understand diagnostic concepts better. We fully respect all trademarks and intellectual property rights, and we encourage every viewer to follow the manufacturer's official guidelines and local laws when working on any vehicle. Now, let's get into the big update that's making waves in the diagnostic world. The CGDI Prog MB has just rolled out its brand new version 3.4.0.0 software version, officially released on October 30th, 2025, and it brings something that Mercedes-Benz technicians have been waiting for a long time. So what exactly is new in this update? Well, the headline feature is support for Mercedes-Benz FBS 4 ISM, DSM, and ESM Erase also known as the Virgin function. In simple terms, this new feature allows technicians to reset key FBS4 control modules like the ISM, Intelligent Servo Module, DSM, Drive Selector Module, and ESM, Electronic Selector Module, back to their original, Virgin state. This is huge because these modules, once programmed, traditionally couldn't be reused in another vehicle. But now, Thanks to the latest CGDI MB update, you can erase the existing data and prepare the module for fresh adaptation, saving both time and cost during vehicle repairs or module replacements. To make it even better, the CGDI development team didn't just stop there. They've optimized the overall software interface, making navigation smoother and more user-friendly. If you've used earlier versions of the CGDI MB software, you'll immediately notice how much cleaner and more intuitive the new interface feels. Everything from menu structure to function selection has been refined for a faster, more efficient workflow. And here's an interesting addition. The CGFC 200 programmer now also supports the Mercedes-Benz FBS 4DSM version function. That means users of FC 200 can also benefit from similar functionality, offering more flexibility for those who work on Mercedes modules regularly. Whether you're working on transmission systems, immobilizer synchronization, or advanced ECU programming, this dual support between CGDI MB and CGFC 200 gives you a wider range of repair options and improved compatibility across different Mercedes platforms. This update is another clear sign of how far aftermarket diagnostic tools have evolved. A few years ago, Resetting or adapting an FBS4 module was something only official dealership tools could handle. But today, with continuous improvements from developers like CGDI, independent technicians and workshops can perform high-level programming with much more confidence and capability. Think about it. If you're running a diagnostic or programming shop, this means shorter turnaround times, lower repair costs, and greater customer satisfaction. And for learners or enthusiasts, this is an opportunity to explore complex Mercedes systems hands-on without the limitations that used to come with expensive OEM tools. So here's my question for you. Do you think tools like the CGDI MB and FC200 are bridging the gap between dealership-level diagnostics and independent workshops? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to stick around till the end because I've got a unique insight you don't want to miss. Now... Looking deeper into how this virgin function works, when you perform a virginization process on an FBS4 module, what's happening under the hood is that all personalized and activated data is being securely erased, restoring the module to a blank state. Once cleared, it can be reprogrammed to a new vehicle with fresh synchronization data. The process requires stable communication, precise voltage control, and the right interface to avoid errors during the reset. CGDI MB handles this intelligently, providing on-screen guidance and checks to make sure you perform the procedure safely. The developers also paid attention to improving connection stability with the vehicle during the erase process. 
Earlier builds sometimes faced intermittent communication drops, especially when dealing with certain ISM or DSM models. In version 3.4.0.0, these issues have been greatly minimized through firmware optimization. The result? A more reliable and seamless workflow that makes professional-level programming accessible to more users than ever before. On top of that, the software now loads faster and consumes fewer system resources. That might sound like a small thing, but for technicians who perform multiple operations back-to-back, -back, these time savings add up quickly. You'll spend less time waiting and more time actually working on the car. Another underrated improvement is how the software now auto-detects module versions and communicates detailed information before any erasing begins. This prevents accidental operations on unsupported hardware, which could otherwise lead to expensive module damage. Safety checks like these show just how mature and refined the CGDI MB platform has become. And since CGFC 200 has joined the mix with its own DSM version function support, users have more flexibility in choosing the tool that fits their workflow best. Some prefer the CGDI MB for its full suite of Mercedes functions while others use the FC200 as a complementary programmer. Either way, the ecosystem between these tools is expanding, and that's great news for technicians everywhere. All right, let's wrap this up. Remember that earlier question about whether these tools are bridging the gap between dealership systems and independent shops? The answer, in my view, is absolutely yes. Tools like the CGDI MB and CGFC 200 are empowering technicians globally, breaking down barriers that once made advanced programming exclusive to OEM systems. From my perspective, this update represents not just a technical improvement, but a shift in how we approach modern automotive repair. It shows that innovation isn't slowing down, it's accelerating, and it's giving everyday technicians the power to perform elite level diagnostics right from their own workshops. Now I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried the new CGDI MB software yet? What do you think about the new FBS 4 version functions? Share your thoughts, experiences, or even your setup stories in the comments below. Before you go, here's a fun fact. Did you know that Mercedes-Benz FBS 4 system was designed with encrypted synchronization layers that prevent cloning or unauthorized use of modules? The fact that modern tools can safely reset them while maintaining integrity is a massive leap in automotive technology. So if you found this video helpful or insightful, I'd really appreciate your support. Let's aim for 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments to keep this channel growing strong. Drop a comment, hype this video up, and don't forget to subscribe to Bob G Motors for more updates, tutorials, and deep dives into automotive programming. Until next time, Keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, happy diagnosing.